glad I realized that. I wish I could like block the sound or like do the noise. Because I really don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I <laughs> I realized that there's a lot of background noise. First of all, my cat is just kind of being a pain in the ass right now, and there might be a slight echo because I have to stream in my room, which kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, and it's also hailing outside, so 
if you hear like random like I don't know tink tack tinkering I don't know what you would call it in the background but um, yeah that's because of the hail I'm using my headphones as my audio today because when I wear big headphones it like messes up my hair so you know I want to shut my door and lock my cat out of my room because he's being really loud but if I do shut him out then the door will be shut and there's going to be like a major echo because my room is just like a box so I have to leave the door open or else it, the audio is just going to be awful and my audio is bad enough so let's just look at the settings for this game let's see oh I need to move my camera because I cannot see hold on let's move Let's move you down here. Okay, there we go. Camera inversion, no. Sensitivity, we'll leave that. POV camera inversion. Adjust the direction the first person camera moves when they're the controls. No perform no inversion. Uh, let's not mess with that. Automatic camera aim, yeah, let's leave that on. Fewer reminders. all that on gamma i'm not gonna mess with the gamma i don't know nothing about that i really just want to turn on subtitles that's all i'm here for is subtitles oh text determines the size of the text and speech blah blah blah, blah medium display subtitles yes sound effect captions uh i don't think we need that Okay, everything looks beautiful to me. Let's play. I played the demo for this game like three or four months ago. This game looks amazing. Hey queen or king. Do they have a rainbow tie? Oh, they have a rainbow. Sh oh wait, is that rainbow? No, it's not. Never mind. But they, they could be gay. You never know. Who are you? Who are you? I don't know, but I'm writing to you anyway. Where are you? How far in the future? Where'd you find my journal? I may never know, but you can know me from what I put down on these pages. I come from a little village in the mountains. No one has left here since before I was born. But our lives changed overnight, just a few days ago when my best friend had a prophetic dream. A vision that the elder said means this season is going to end soon. <laughs> Sorry. The world is about to enter a new era. A great change is coming. Period. Everyone was afraid. I was surrounded by questions and I began to feel how little I know. What is this season that is about to end? And why is it ending? What exactly is out there that could turn the world inside out? If there are still voices singing and laughing in the wilderness, I could record them before they're gone. I also thought of my dad, who always wanted to see the outside world, but never did. So, I asked if I could leave. The elder had one condition for letting me go. But I take what I collect to the museum vault, a palace of art and memory at the edge of the earth. She says it's the only place safe from the turmoil of a changing season. I hope that's where you're reading this now. 
I can't stop the change that is coming, but this time on Earth could live on in these pages. What it looks like, sounds like, how it feels to be alive right now. I'm writing to you at the crack of dawn on the morning I leave home. I can smell breakfast cooking in the other room and I can hear my mom's voice. Okay, so that scientist is in the future and we play as a girl living in a village in the past. Okay, index, past seasons, search of the future, go to the mountains. What happens if I click on these? Oh, she's already got this journal. Olden days unknown. Year 500. So we were born in the year 780. That's kind of crazy. Hold on, I need to clean my glasses, I'm sorry. Year 780. That's kind of wild. So this takes place in the past. In the past, in the past. Okay, let's turn the page. Oh wait, how do I, oh. Okay, we already, yeah, 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 she read all this. Oh, okay, cool. So we're perfectly caught up. Three, two, oh. one, hooray! Mr. Lotto's here. Girl, you sound awful. Who is humming? You loud as hell. A catalog of strangers. A catalog of strangers is an introduction to the more frightful aspects of the world a reasonable amount of fear and fun makes for prudent children. I don't think so. I don't think that's how it works. I think that um, this is going to scare your children, but you do you. you. My, My bag, bag and dad's camera. Ready for Ooh. the great departure. Okay, so I'm assuming that's my dad humming, because he, he, oh my god, he is loud as hell. Ooh, what are you? Hope you like him more than you would have liked the fish from Pate. Aww. First place for what? Wandering Tail Festival. First place. Okay, cool. Origami. What is this? A dog? Folded by Pate. So Pate is our bestie or our girlfriend. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I think it's a dog. Or maybe a bird. I don't know. Oh, that's my mom doing all that humming. You're up. It's going to be a beautiful morning. I'm making progress. I found the burner, camera, recorder, travel bag. Breakfast is in progress. Still got to make a pendant. We haven't used this in so long. Good thing I saved the instructions. Just as you would use a shield to protect your body, an identity pendant protects your mind. Your thoughts, memories, everything that makes you, you. We don't wear them here in the village anymore, but if you're going into the outside world, I'll feel better when you've got a pendant shielding you. Okay. Yeah, true. Shielding against what? Diseases of the mind, like the dream sickness. We don't know what caused it. We heard people suddenly fell into an eternal sleep. Uh-oh. Like a coma? These were years of wild rumors. Damn. And half of them turned out to be true. In times of war, 
A pendant can be used to identify a body. <sighs> Let's skip that part. Objects have two layers, the physical and the mental. The pendant needs to absorb both. One, collect a sentimental object for each sense. Sound, smell, feel, sight, taste. Two, feel the sense and speak aloud a memory of the object. Three, feed the object into the burner. The memory will leave the speaker as it is transferred to the pendant. That means I'll forget the memory after I say it. It's supposed to be painless, at least. Okay, so, this old tape should work for our sense of sound. I remember. You and I fell asleep listening to this tape. Your dad came home. We all rested together until it got dark. Oh, that's cool. What an odd feeling. Like an absence disappearing. The empty space fills itself back in until I forget that I forgot anything at all. <sighs> I'm glad I'm only losing a few memories. If I lost too many, I wouldn't even know who you are. You should pick the rest of the objects. I'll lose the memories, but you'll have them in the pendant forever. So they should be important to you. They should be parts of your identity you want to be sure to protect. So think about what these items and what the memories would preserve about you. Let's do smell next. This is so interesting. Find an object with a strong odor and that holds a piece of you. An object with a strong odor that holds a piece of me. Okay. Dried flowers are kind of cool. But I don't see what that has to do Honey, with me. wax, baby, waves. I was loved by people I have no memory of. Aww. Let's keep looking around. Nothing. I was born in the glow of my parents' love. Nothing. I remember who my dad was. I went out for a climb. Be back this evening. That's cute. So I think we have to use that wax thing. Nothing. I look closely. Mm, I don't think that would work. Sour. Handshake. Sweat. I always had the intuition the world could change completely. Nah. We gotta find something that's really like... I don't even know. I think we should go with... Hold on, let's keep looking. Ooh. It's a pretty Nothing. spoon. I used to see souls everywhere. Okay. I guess we'll just go with this. What did you choose for smell? Let's breathe in deep. This kind of candle keeps someone alive for the time it takes to burn. Damn. Just a few hours when death is nearby. That's crazy. It can be enough for last rites, last words. This was grandma's candle. She didn't want to use it. You spent a lot of time with her when you were a baby. 
I realized she wouldn't live long enough for you to remember her, or for her to see you grow up and discover what kind of person you'd be. So in a way, you don't know her, and she didn't know you. And yet, she loved you. I don't know where love goes, but it belongs to you anyway. Now touch. Pick something with the texture you like. Ooh, ooh. The origami. I like paper. I'm a paper boy. Or ceramic animal. Cool, scratchy, palm grains. A friend gave me this a long time ago. Yes, yes, yes. That's exactly what I want to use. So what did you end up choosing? Okay, feel the surface. The cool stone. I remember. This was in the months after your father passed. You didn't seem sad, but you just weren't interested in anything. It was hard to know what to do. One day, you and your friend Pate went fishing. You didn't catch anything, of course, but when I was putting away your bucket, we found this creature there. Pate had dropped it in without you noticing. I remember how it made you smile. And I felt, oh, no matter how much things have changed, I will get to see my little girl smile again. I think broke. <laughs> Heard it shatter in there. I'm fine. Let's do sight next. Pick something that that looks nice. The spoon. Gold glint, smile, blushing face. I used to see souls everywhere. So, what did you end up choosing? There were years when you saw faces everywhere. We had to be gentle with everything in case it had a soul. I remember you saw some sticks on the ground in the shape of a face. You were so worried what would happen if the wind blew. I secretly put the sticks away and showed you the face on this spoon. Look, she transformed, I said. You were so serious, studying it, thinking how a soul could transform shapes. Eventually, you stopped seeing faces everywhere. Does the world have fewer souls in it now than when you were a child? Or are they still out there? That's so kind of, that's kind of scary to think about, honestly. Ugh. For taste, we can eat breakfast and feed some to the burner. The memory I'll lose is the one we're forming right now. That's sad. That's actually really sad. I want you to have it forever. Standing here, you're having a last taste of home. Now you're protected by lost memories. Mm. A gem of home around your neck. This is my only condition for letting you go. You must promise me never to take the pendant off. Promise. And never tamper with it. Okay. Of course. Okay? Then I'm okay with you leaving. I think your camera and bag are still in your room. It's time to gather them up. Alrighty. 
Let's grab my stuff and go. This kind of feels like Pokemon in a way. <laughs> Going on a little adventure. Before your baby goes. Aww. That's so sweet. I've lost so much. How could the world ask me to lose you, too? Oh, I didn't even click anything. It just took the picture on its own. Look at us. Oh, I love Polaroid pictures. Polaroids are amazing. Like, I, there we they're are. the best. There we were. We'll always be right here on this beautiful morning. I just performed a ritual with my mom. The moment has passed, but I'll record it in these pages for you for the future. Oh, wow. See, when I did the demo, there were flowers that you could choose for the journal. And I, I didn't do the flowers. I did the candle. And now I get to put it in this journal. This is so cute. I love this. And this cute little spoon. Oh my gosh, I freaking love it. Right there. This is perfect. mom i love that wait i want to add more keepsakes wait that's all i can add no! i never knew when my mom would share a memory of dad while cooking on a walk with no warning it knocked the wind out of me rituals take this grief and give it a shape and a story filling in this journal is a ritual too but for a loss that hasn't hit us yet wait can i add more Oh, I can. Thank God. Oh, they have stamps. Dude, I love this. I get to like personalize the journal the way I want to. Like, are you kidding me? This is cute AF. Okay, sorry. Let's get back to the game. I've brought tools to record the sights and sounds of this season. I'll start by recording the only place I've ever known. Sound is also coming from my controller. I don't know if I can hear it. Public sleep music is a tradition of ours here. When the music ends, the village will begin to wake up. people. Last night there was a goodbye party here in the plaza. Everyone was so afraid for me. Do 
understand that fear, to understand where I grew up, you have to know the man standing watch over the plaza, Dr. Fumio. Dr. Fumio. This is Dr. Fumio and his son. The statue isn't as old as it looks. The artist wore it down to give it a feeling of ancientness ah. and the authority that comes with it. That makes sense. Dr. Fumio and his son founded Cairo back in 776. They live on through our traditions. I want to take a better picture. Hold on. Hold there are three murals celebrating Dr. Fumio's work. Oh, I can run. Okay, thank God. Okay, let me take like a better picture. Wait, how do I... Yeah. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's take... See, that looks way better. Okay, I'll put that in the journal. We marked the day Dr. Fumio cured memory excess. Okay, so their brains couldn't handle all, like everything? Remembering everything must be painful. Oh, okay. Dr. Fumio brought peace to so many people here. Remembering everything. Like they remembered everything in their lives or like everything throughout all time? Like they remembered what happened before they were born. I don't know. What's over here? We mark the day Dr. Fumio cured time misperception disorder in memory of Augusta Kaya. The elder sought out Dr. Fumio to cure her mother, who was suffering from time misperception. Interesting. What is time misperception? Oh my god, look at that view. Gorgeous. a healing instrument created by Dr. Fumio. It draws on the pure mountain air. Gorgeous. Rest in peace, Dr. Fumio. Dream sickness and dreams on. Okay. Dr. Fumio said the dream sickness was caused by something very powerful. He wasn't able to cure it. Well, that's sad. Wait, so... Goodbye, Claro, fish in the sky. Pate's little daydream of leaving this place, of seeing something weird. Caro Cafe, music and poetry tonight. This is the cafe where my dad used to read his poems. He wrote one for me. Maybe he wrote it for you too.
a wish fell off the tree. I'm not supposed to read them, but it might be good for you to have an example of one. I hope she comes back and tells everyone it's safe to leave. Oh wow, that's about me. I can go against tradition a little for posterity. So these people have only ever lived in this village. Smells like an old man's toes dipped in cinnamon. Um, that's I had disgusting. to drink this gross potion last night. Like my pendant, it's supposed to protect my brain. Okay, let's do some crap in my journal. You can't even read the ribbon. Sorry, I'm not trying to be... Wait, let's take a picture of that thing so we know. Hold on. Because we're gonna see a note that says, smells like an old man's toe dipped in cinnamon, and be like, what the heck is she talking about? So let's take a picture of this. Okay. And let's put that in the journal. Yeah, let's put that right there. So at least we know, like, oh, she's talking about that. And then let's put that right there. There we go. A village that was created as a place to heal. Is that where my instinct to try to help comes from? It's so strange to imagine I'll be shaped by places and people I haven't met yet. So strange to imagine that I might feel at home somewhere else. Oh, we got some new stamps. Dr. Fumio was an important person, but we also just have a need to put a human face on events that are beyond our control. He may have felt just as scared and helpless as everyone else. Sad. Time, time passing, time, time passing. Alrighty. I think we explored the area pretty well. What are these? Can I take a picture of it? I guess I don't need to take a picture of Well, I mean, why not? Memories of everything, right? I go fishing here with my best friend, Pate, even though there's nothing to catch. We both appreciate the silence. Glad I took the photo now. in the year 710 and right now it's the year 780 so Kara's Kero been around. village was founded during the modernity 
Much later, Dr. Fumio arrived and remade it in his image. Yes. This flower means you're in my thoughts. The morning after the search was called off for Dad, our doorstep was covered in them. sacred square of earth lay down so you have the dirt at your back close your eyes close everything do you see for yourself you see for the dead, for the unborn. Do you listen for yourself? You listen for the dead, for the unborn. Your ancestors are in that dirt. All the living and all the dead are holding you up. Now, stand. They're still there, aren't they? It's time to move, to entangle yourself everywhere with everyone so the next time you lay down in the dirt you will have so much more to tell them period dude this game is so pretty like are you kidding me it's crazy Pate fixed up three bikes instead of one. Pink. Pink, 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 pink. I like pink. This road would be bumpy as heck on a bicycle. It'd be fun though. Look at all this scenery, man. Can you imagine riding your bike through all this? Oh, it's so pretty. I don't even know where we're going. Oh, how do I stop? <laughs> Thank God. Okay, where can I park this thing? 
Okay, let's see. Let's park it like over here. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, hold on. Okay. What's this? Open letter. That poor baby. Oh, I didn't get to read it. Dear Cornelius, I've thought it over and I have to tell you. The naive Oh, the name! Oh my god. I was like, naive? Okay. The name you picked for your baby. It is terrible. Damn. Please do not go forward with it. I pray this letter reaches you in time. Oh my god. That's so mean. I made that big. I want y'all to see. Yeah, that poor baby. Put that right there. I love that you get to design the journal, like, yourself. Everybody's journal is going to look different. Like, it'll have the same stuff, but you can just, like, put it where you want. Cairo, Tiang Valley. Hold on. Hey, guess where I am? I hope you looked at this side first. I had to pay my respects to the birthplace of Manchester. There's a lot of tourists, but also a weird feeling for the place it would take me. More than a postcard can explain. Take care, all them. Cool. Cairo postcard A. It simply isn't that kind of a location. This village was very hard to find, but if you really need it, somehow, you make your way there. I just wanted to let you know that I'm staying here for good. This season can only meet a violent end. It's too bright, too cheery. Stay safe, Conway. Damn. You this is like so dark. These letters that the outside world has extremes of beauty and tragedy beyond anything I've known. Like, this game is peaceful, but has, like, a dark undertone. Can I look at this treasure chest? What's here? Open the letter. Uh, Dear Esdale, I'll be surprised if this letter reaches you. The war has become like a deranged sleeper thrashing in bed, eyes closed tight. I've noticed how the soldiers strip people of their clothes first, a smaller degradation which permits everything that follows. I wish I had loved you more completely when the world allowed it. Love, Odell. You were right. The letter never made it. The season before this one, the war, seems so horrible. So I wonder if, like, instead of, like, centuries or something like that, they call it, like, seasons. Like, is a year a season? She says the season before this, but a war took place. A war didn't take place during one season, so, like, I feel like a season is, like, one year, ten years. It's a period of time that's like more than just like fall. Open letter. Please get this letter to Dr. Fumio. I'm suffering from memory excess but cannot travel to the village for treatment. I was praying you could instruct me by mail how to cure myself of this disease. I am unable to forget. Now I realize how important it is to gain open space in the mind. Tell me what to do. Tell me how to forget. Please get this letter to Dr. Fumio. Ooh, see, I would, in my mind, I'm like, oh, if you can remember everything, you'd be smart, you'd be calm, but I guess, like, not really, if you remember, like, too much, it's, like, too much for your brain, which I guess, like, makes sense. Before setting up in Cairo Village, Dr. Fumio roamed the land curing people. It must have been hard when he wasn't around anymore. Yeah, I bet. Especially for people who couldn't travel to the village. Traders used to come to the outskirts of the village, 
the war put an end to this. I keep accidentally not clicking on... Oh, okay. Okay, so let's put that here. And then let's put this I feel nourished in these sights by the unfamiliarity of it all. These means of connection, long in disuse, are certainly telling me something about the world. Will they be used again in the next season? Oh, wait. Let's go back. <laughs> so cute. Dude, this is so cute. Like, come on. I wish I could see what's at the top of that thing. Anything over here? No. Doesn't look like it. What's this? Ah. Yes. Yes! Draw sketch. Oh, I love this game. Bring it over here. We'll hop on over here. <laughs> I can ring the bell. I love that. Dude, this game is so pretty. There's a blood. Looks like there's a blood.
What is that noise? Hold on. Forgot what I was going to say. I think it's a frog. What is it? Sea Land Transportation Industries, EST 543. A crane to move materials around. The things that used to be possible. I heard at some point the tides got less predictable. Places flooded that never had before. Mm. I knew that sign meant flood. Period. Can we go in the water? No, we can't. Okay. Let's get back on my bike. Oh! There's the frog. It's you. You're going to be in heckin' loud. Frog boy. Didn't mean to put that. Sorry. We learned about old technology in school, but not much about animals. What are these strange goat-like creatures? Are they simply goats? I can't pet it. <laughs> so cute. My first time petting an animal. I think it went pretty well. Yeah, because these things can be, like, really aggressive. Like, I've seen videos of those goats being, like, so... Just, like, aggressive. Are these more goats? Oh my god, is that a white goat? Oh my god, are you albino? You're albino! Love you. Okay, let's get back on my bike. Oh, didn't, I keep accidentally wanting to... Okay, let's get on my bike. Okay, well we, can, we can make it across this. Boom. Okay, now we're back on the path. Because the path was flooded, but everything's fine now. Oof. I cycled through landscapes, seeing them for the first and last time. I had no idea when I left my home how the season would end, or more importantly, how soon. I don't want to see this girl die at the end of this game. On a cold, damp day, I feel true loneliness for the first time. Nobody could have described with words how big this world is, how it goes and goes. I passed through it, where others passed before me.
this frog was so loud. That's, it scared me. I was literally scared because of that frog, man. I know, let's do a picture of that boat. Okay, this is cute. Yes. Okay, and now we're on the long journey. I thought I might change the season by changing the landscape. Cut these down like trees. But that's not how a season changes. This person wanted the season to change. Why? When the season turns, the reasons behind things might disappear. But the engine may survive. The power is not lost. It's just buried a little. Oh, I could have taken my bike up here. I didn't see this path on the side. Oh well. See, the only thing I worry about when I play games like this is that it's very big and has like an open world, so I'm afraid that I'm not gonna like find everything. Like I feel like maybe miss out on a lot actually. If you're like not missing. But maybe I'm just overthinking it. But I feel like I could have easily, like, rode past that thing. wanted the season to change because they were so alone.
There's a lot to explore in here. Okay, hold on. Ooh, let's wind it up. One melody is like me out here alone. I can't really live like this. use these music boxes to fall asleep. One voice, one tune, alone in the wilderness can't last long. Two voices, a melody, and a harmony is enough to survive a little while. Three voices, a community, a song, can last a whole season. They kept themselves company with music. Two Same. voices is like me and my mom. We can survive, but eventually you need more. They have so many music boxes, oh my gosh. What did they need so many for? Well, I guess she said for falling asleep, so they turn them all on at once and then just fucking... It's like melatonin. I met a driver from a group that's building a community and leaving with him. Goodbye to this lonesome place. Goodbye to this lonesome city. Looks like they made it out of here. But what is this group? As a kid, I heard voices talking inside the sound of rain. I still listen for it, even though I know it's not there. Next area. In the empty places, I found companionship in the tapes I recorded before leaving home. The elder told me the story of her life. I listened back to it ready to note down anything that seemed important. The Elder is so funny looking. Let's set the scene for the listener. Whoever that might be. This is the Elder speaking. We're sitting in the plaza, saying goodbye to a dear soul. We're here to see if there's anything useful in my mind that could help you on your trip. A century's worth of memories, dreams, fantasies, visions. Like a big, old, haunted library. When I die, this library will burn down. But which book should we check out first? I don't have all the answers, but I do feel the story of my life could help you understand what kind of world is out there. It's okay not to understand everything right away. The moment may pass before you've gotten a firm hold on it. But as long as you're there to witness it, to take it down in your journal, you and others to come will someday take the time to make sense of it all. She has good advice. I can tell this lady's wise. First, I got old. That's an important step. <laughs> Being an elder is all about how you react to strange events. The key is not to be surprised, but kind of frown. Look serious. 
and say something like, it begins. Never say, I don't know. Say, we dive into a pool of uncertainty. I was born on the ocean. On the ocean? My mother and father worked on a cruise ship. Wait. I thought this was... I thought this was the year 780. You got cruise ships? Okay, I'm confused. Short-lived but glorious, watery republics. Floating cities. Most won their independence by the time I was born. How can I describe them? They were a jewel of the golden season. Pleasure boats with a radical political program. How nice. The golden age was a time of flags, logos, mottos, mastheads. My mom taught me to read them. She was a ship's philosopher. My dad was a recycling engineer. Recycling on the ship was a matter of life and death. We had to get the most out of every object and watt of energy. Well, yeah, if you were born on the ocean, then where did your family come from? My grandparents played with the past. They changed it like we change our wardrobe. So it was a different answer every time. But they often said we are exiles of some kind. Uh-oh. Exiled royalty from a secret lineage. Blood that glows in the dark. Okay. Or we're exiled from the mouth of some... She was telling society. stories at this point. When they were older, they just said, We're from here. We're from right now. You did not answer my question. I loved the way the ship would tilt and roll with the waves, especially as I fell asleep. It was so comforting. Picture me as a kid in bed, feeling the swaying of the ship. It was like being rocked to sleep as a baby. I loved exploring the ship too, wandering through the suites, the swimming pool, the game rooms, and oh, there were two dance halls, a large, elegant one and another one in the basement. A lot of my firsts were down there. My first dance, my first kiss, and so forth. Wow. Our ship was taken over in the early days of the war. That was the end of the watery republics. I heard the dance hall in the basement became a weapons cache. Took me half my life to say goodbye to the world I knew in my youth. Imagine me and my parents and everyone I knew being escorted off the ship by a company of soldiers. And I'm thinking, I hope they don't make a mess of my room. I was embarrassed by the younger kids who were crying their eyes out. But they knew, I guess. Yes, the start of the war was a turning of seasons. And we had been warned the season was going to end. Oh, but we didn't understand the warning. You see, one night, along a coastline, we saw beautiful lights shimmering above the water. Later, we found out this was an ancient warning system. It hadn't been used in so long. We didn't know what it meant. We just thought, well, ain't that pretty. We tried to stick together and camped out on the coast of the prismatic grounds. kingdom of art and science. They got rich during the golden season. Everything that made them beloved before the wealth came. Passionate, uncompromising, self-obsessed made them unbearable once they had power. Artists make terrible kings. Are you sure you want me to keep going? The story gets darker from here on. Okay, so conditions in the camp were getting worse. My mom got lost in thought for long periods of time. She'd be completely still for hours, days even. We realized she caught, well, now we call it time misperception disorder. It's when you lose your ability to tell how much time is passing. A minute can feel like an hour. A day can pass in 10 seconds. We don't know exactly. Our consciousness is delicate. There are minerals and sounds that can adjust it. Dr. Fumio's greatest fear was that someone would use this as a weapon. We heard about a traveling doctor who could cure these kinds of diseases. I decided to go find him. I found out his name was Dr. Fumio, and he traveled with his son, Lucio. People talked about him like he was a god.
I described my mom's condition to Dr. Fumio. He said there was no cure yet, but there was a village high in the mountains. He thought it was high enough he'd have a better chance at treatment. Lower places are more dangerous. Valleys are the worst. He invited me to join them in going to the village. But I wanted to go back and get my parents and bring them with me. I packed my things and got ready to leave the next morning. That night, my mom came to me in a dream. She was standing in a field of flowers. Hank Cronin says I last saw her. We were the same height. She pressed a finger hard into my palm. She taught me well. I knew the meaning of the gesture. I knew no matter what I did, I'd never see my parents again. In the morning, I told Dr. Fumio I would follow him to Carroll Village. The next few weeks were very physically tiring, hiking, climbing. And when we found the village, building, planting, cleaning, Fumio brought sick people from all over the world, and they got better. The treatments worked. Everyone was healing. So why couldn't I? One day, we got word the war was over. We never found out how it ended. It was like peace just swept over the earth in a split second. There was a party in the plaza to celebrate the end of the war, but I couldn't bring myself to go. Yes, it was over, but it had taken my home, my family. That night, as I was falling asleep, I felt the bed tilt and sway gently, as if it was being tossed on the waves of the ocean, as if I was back in my bedroom on the ship, as if I was back in my mother's arms, being rocked gently to sleep. I knew I was finally home, and nothing could hurt me. Wow. I'm sorry, but that was so interesting. Like, I've, this game is probably boring to, like, other people, but... That was interesting. <laughs> I love this game. I imagine coming upon a place as hidden and singular as my own village. Eventually, I found myself circling a valley, <laughs> looking for a way in. Tiang Valley. This is the postcard I saw. This valley is asking people for a visit. I should oblige it. I'm like, I'm playing around with all this stuff. This game is just so cool, man. Look at her. She's so cute. Okay, what do I want to do? First, let's do the music box. Picture of the music box. I don't. Okay, never mind. Time seems to pass differently around here. I feel so heavy and so light at the same time. I'm not really alone. I'm with myself. I'm with I'm the with earth. The earth. Here you. 
See, I love the sound of rain. ASMR, literally ASMR, free ASMR. I love this game. Let's put an umbrella. And then... Some rain. Actually, no, I don't like the rain. I like. Time to move on. Let's get to the next area. Yeah, look at this. Tang Valley Dam, a gift from the Prismatic Grounds, the Electric Peace Project Year 515. We never used this kind of technology in my village. Nobody trusted it. the dam. Oh, we're on the dam. The bridge is a dam. I keep thinking I'm seeing something, but I'm- Oh wait, this is a village. Are there people here? People! Hey queens! Oop. No entry. Girl! Let me in. Hey! Hi. Oh! Oh! Oh, you look- Never mind. Uh, Valley. One second. 
So is he gonna let me in? What is this? Gather around the gray hands. I'm taking a picture. What will happen when we do as instructed and gather around this fake person? Is that a strodol fop? Uh, what, what are they called? Huh? A camera? What is it? What? A strodol fop? My recorder? I love old gear like that. Okay, are you gonna let me through? It's getting more and more rare. Okay. I, I had a camera, but it broke. So you know how to say camera, but you were saying strotofop. Not that interesting of a story, I guess. Yeah. Why is the road blocked? What are you doing here? Trying to get through. The whole thing, huh? Sure. You're young. You, you got time. No, I don't. You're wasting my time. What kind of stuff are you recording? Girl, I don't know why I'm so annoyed by this man. Okay, let me just calm down. Let me just have a conversation. Um, people and their culture, animals and landscapes. I mean, I'm honestly just everything. Yeah, like whatever captures my interest, I guess. But hopefully people and their, let's do people and their culture because we want our thing to like live on. Oh yeah, civilization they call it. The valley would be a good place to use those tools. Too bad it's closed down. Even though there's a sign that says, please come visit. Let me finish up here, huh? Wait, is he gonna let me in? I've heard sounds that can heal the mind. It feels like this noise would do the opposite. <laughs> yeah, she does hey. not like. Oops. This was like a second home for a while. That was fun earlier when you showed up. And I was carrying the cardboard man. That was two seconds ago. You were like, who are these guys? <laughs> oh, you're funny. I've. Been pretty bored here. Yeah, I can tell. You know, the valley's gonna be flooded soon. That's why nobody can go in there. The dam is falling apart. Oh, that's sad. Well, I guess she was right to say that her village didn't trust dam technology because it's like, you know, it could cause a lot of problems. It's too old. Ah, an old dam. Too There's sad. nobody left who knows how to repair it. We're taking it down so we'll know when it'll collapse. It gives us time to evacuate everyone. Greyhounds. We're a community organization. We do all kinds of fun stuff. Health clinics, mine sweeping, daycare, evacuations, weddings. We're new. Interesting. It was supposed to be because we're helpful yet neutral. We took a vote and decided to change the name though. We want something more friendly sounding. I'm excited to find out what it would be. We're trying to get new things going. But it's hard. The past really has a tight grip on people. It doesn't feel like a fair fight. So we're trying to, well, anyway. Huh? Explain. It's funny. I stood guard here for a week, and I've only seen greyhounds like myself and valley people on their way out. But now I see you, and you're like a new element or something. I've never met anyone doing what you're doing. And uh, we Greyhands got to support new things. So, hmm, I'm not supposed to let anyone in. How can I? Jeez. I think you should go down into the valley and take a look. Got to try something here. Dang it. I was trying to wink. Well, you get the idea. Why can't you wink? Go on and put that old gear to use. You can take my map of the valley too. Oh, period. Thank you. I don't need it anymore. 
I'll be down to pick everyone up around midnight. See you then. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice of him to, like, let me explore before it's, like, completely closed off. What a chill guy. I'm sorry for all the attitude I gave earlier. I met a gray hand. He let me into the valley. I think he wanted me to record what the gray hands were up to. And he gave me a map. Oh, wow. This is kind of big. The assembly point seemed like a good place to start. Okay, period. Huh. That oh, was a strange encounter. The elder warned me about valleys. She said they were dangerous. I feel a dulcet tension in the air. I enter to see the moment between seasons. I didn't mean to do that. Let me open it right back up. <laughs> that guy was so weird. I'm sorry. He was so strange. The second I saw him, I said, You look. Never mind. So I was going to roast him, but I was like, Let me be nice. The Gateway to Tian. Here stands the Gateway to Tian Valley, home of the Three Mindful Gods. As you enter, try to imagine the millions of pilgrims who passed under this gate before. They were born, they lived, and they died. I'm not Period. the first to do this. Just the first in a long time. The entrance to the Tiang Valley Shrine. The Tiang Valley Shrine is only open to visitors when the sun rises and when it sets. Visitors wake early to see the morning ceremonies, and they come back at night to witness the ceremonies that bring an end to the day. It seems like I'll have to wait for night to enter the shrine. Oh, have to wait till night time? Okay. Please respect the residents of Tiang Valley. They are not actors or tourist guides or animals, but hardworking folk. Please collect all trash and debris from the con 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 concessionary stands before leaving this garbage. Wait, before leaving. This garbage not only clutters the pristine valley, but is offensive to the local people who do not eat mass processed food or drink. Period. I don't know why that was so hard for you. I'll think about what kind of visitor I want to be. 
Uh, we're gonna be a kind visitor. How about that? We're not gonna cause problems. This is pretty. I wanted to see what that thing was. Never mind. I feel like if it's not on the main path, then like, you can just ignore it. Is there anything on this side I can take you to then? Okay, no, we're good to go. Valley entrance. Ooh, let's look at this. I love this. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Welcome to Tiang Valley. Remember, you made it here, but we, we made it here. Period. I am probably the last person that will ever be welcomed here by this sign. That's sad. Oh, this is the same map that that guy gave me. Oh, wow. So we're at the very front. Like, we j okay, wow, we have a lot to explore. You ready, y'all? What is it? The well-trodden path. This very path you stand on has been the same since at least year 350. Imagine millions of pilgrims walking this humble path to visit the famous Tiang Valley Shrine. Okay, so... The elder told me there's very little information about the years before 500. It's literally only year 780. Y'all already have cruise ships? But that old lady said she was born on a cruise ship. So there was a cruise ship in the year 700? In the year 700. No. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. She's lying. All above will remain. All below will wash away. Huh. All above will remain. All below will wash away. Behold the ceremony of the random dead. A person is selected arbitrarily from the graveyard. A monk unearths memories of this person for all to enjoy. Every first Saturday of the month, sunrise at the Tiang Valley Cemetery. Uh... Do we have consent to do this? I feel like that's... I don't know if that's legal. 
I have wondered about the lives beneath unkept graves. Hmm. Anything on this side? No, nothing. Okay. Just making sure. Let's get back to my bicycle. Memory flower. Excuse me, what is a memory flower? Memory flowers are unique to Tiang Valley. Their long history is intertwined with the religious practices of the valley. Stop and listen. You might be surprised when the flowers have, what the flowers have to say. Beautiful but dangerous. Remember the helpful memory. Wait. Memnemonic. <laughs> Girl, hold on. Remember? Oh. Remember this helpful mnemonic. Memory flowers few, few. Memory flowers many, danger a plenty. I spice broke that. I'm just playing. I wonder what the flowers have to say. Hold on. Where is what's it there? Period. Wait, but why? I don't understand why too many of those is it. Oh wait, would too many of those cause like the memory excess thing? I don't understand. I don't know. I don't. Oh no. Something's happening, y'all. Can I record this? God of sleep. I've been gathering harpic, and I've been gathering courage. If my big prayer is wrong, if it goes against divine will, please spare the people of this valley. We're so desperate for peace. memory told over and over again. Oh, so the flowers themselves hold memory. But if there's too many, it might like, I don't know, hurt your brain or something? She must have been important to have such an elaborate solitary tomb. For sure. She was a priestess of some kind. Oh yeah, she was definitely a priestess. But this is a whole shrine. Oh, hold on. I need to grab my bicycle. Same thing. And this leads back to the road, I think. Bicycle, where are you? Oh, wait. I left my bicycle back there. <laughs> Hold on, we have to go all the way around. Well, I could have just gone back through the shrine. Oh, well, we'll just run this way, it's fine. Only takes a second.
Um, I need to get back on the road. Here we The screen is still tripping from that thing, but I'm not next to the shrine anymore. Is it glitch? Or is there still supposed to be some shine? Hungry eyes and empty stomachs. These metal animals are looking up expectantly. Why is my screen so pink? It's because of these guys. The people here are so weak. I heard gunshots last night. That was us. <laughs> what is that? Look at the pond. The water. What is that pattern? Should we run or something? Something frightening happened in this memory. But what was it? Something in the water scared them. Oh, I wish I could get in the water. Oh well. See, there's so many detours and stuff that there's this there's gonna be a lot to explore. That's all I have to say. Interested in joining the Grey Hands? What would you like to do? How do you want to spend your infinitely precious time on this earth? We will create a position specific to you. Each Grey Hand is their own department. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. It sounds like they want to adapt their organization to the people in it, and not the other way around. Yeah, like, that's actually, like, kind of neat. I like that. I don't understand what that siren was for just now. I'm guessing it's for the floods, because that guy was talking about, yep, flood zone, okay. Please have to be careful, I guess. Attention residents of Tiang Valley. The problem, the solution. The dam is falling apart, no one alive is going to fix it. We'll take down the dam ourselves so we will know when it will collapse. Oh, hey, that's actually kind of smart. Like, at least it's destroyed it. So There's a number prepare. to call for questions regarding the dam. Should we call? 
Can we call the number? That's it. Is this like a leaving form or something? There must be a lot of people going to the city if they need to keep track of them with cards. Yeah. It's required to... Oh look, it's another, uh... Imagine if the man I met is the only living gray hand, and the rest are cardboard. Heh, <laughs> that'd be funny. Thoughts on a new season. A manifesto to the future. Everyone knows something is wrong, but nobody knows what to do. Everyone you meet is paddling aimlessly through grief. Everyone you meet is in mourning because the last season left behind a beautiful corpse. It is time to bury it and move on. You say, it is not so simple, yes, but the walls that surround us are not as thick as they appear. One of these walls may even be a door. We will summon a moment of psychosis, a moment when we forget that we can't walk through walls, and so we will. Join us. Period. The gray hands want to end this season. Hmm. They want to build a better future. Oh, look at those chips. They told us not to leave food behind, and what do you know? People will still leave food behind. Someone was reading all this out loud as they scroll through it. Say they're going to build the next season. How? The artist has depicted the gray hands as a child. They don't have faith in their capabilities, but see them as innocent? Hmm. That's fair. Because that guy at the bridge was like, kind of aloof in a way. It's like, I, I didn't take them seriously either. So I kind of get what the artist is saying. Thank you for helping my daughter find her journal. We were so stressed. One of your people named Soul really took the time to answer all the questions my kid had. He was more patient with them than I am. Thank you for helping an old person like me carry all my heavy luggage. I'd like to be a gray hand when I grow up so I can help people. Aww, it's like feedback that people were giving. Aww, that's so sweet. The gray hands seem to care what people think about them. I mean, they should. Radiant City. The Radiant City is located in a high elevation with safe, fertile soil. Low elevation is dangerous. Low elevation pools containment. Okay. The elder also said low places are dangerous. The city is high up like my village. Maybe it is safer. Radiant City. A blank canvas for your dreams. A community for the full human being. Not the worker. Not the parent. Not the child. The full human being. It's hard to imagine something new, a new way of living, but they're trying. Attention residents of Tiang Valley. Oh, lies. Ooh. There seems to be suspicion about the real condition of the dam and why it's being taken down. I 
Let's look at my map. So we are... I actually have no idea where we are. <laughs> Hold on. I am not good at looking at maps. Okay, let's look at this map. Okay, so we're there. Should we go straight or should we take a detour? I say let's take the detour. That would be more interesting. Oh my god, there's so many detours. This is so much to explore. I actually can't. Oh, a farm! Hi, cow. Oh, you're so cute. I need you to look up. Look up for me. Cow. Cow. Bessie. Oh no. Oh. No. No, you won't. Is that your name on your collar? Let's see. You are Madrigal. Madrigal? That's such a cute name. Pet. Pet, pet. Pet, pet, pet. Don't bite me though. Can I record your mooing? And you are Mata. 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 Hello, cows. I found out on TikTok that... Okay, I'm gonna sound stupid when I say this. I found out that all cows are female. And male cows are bulls. Literally did not know this until TikTok told me. Let's look at this trophy. Ooh, who has the best move? Who? Okay, but who has... Wait, is their name Best Moo or did they win Best Moo? I don't know. Oh, well. Fix your frame. This is cute. International Competitive Cow Festival. Year 750. Period. So they have nice cows. Cows from all over the world came here to compete in cow stuff? The golden season seems like such a different world. Mm. Oh, wow, we got a big show today. Huge show. Breaking news. The Greyhands have died. <laughs> being reborn baby oh. and we're taking suggestions for our new name live on the air suggestions from the rank and fire you don't even need to be a gray hand to suggest a name true true the number to call is zero zero one nine that is zero zero one nine first caller hit us with a name uh hi yeah i was thinking the bricklayers okay bricklayers laying some bricks Hmm. Well, yeah, th uh, thanks for the suggestion. We'll be taking them all afternoon, so, so keep them coming. That number again is 0019. You're listening to Gray Hand Radio. <laughs> we are broadcasting live from Gray Hand HQ. And we're going to take a little break. If the Gray Hands are changing their name, you'd know them as something else. The 
It sounds like it comes from somewhere far away. It makes me want to keep traveling. Why is this paper so bright? We're being evacuated. They're moving us into an apartment building in the Radiant City. There's no room for animals. It breaks my heart, but I have to leave all of you here. I've got the radio tuned to your favorite station. You've always done right by me. Aww. That's so sad. These people had to leave so much behind. Yeah. They did have to leave a lot behind. This gray hand kid just wants to be loved? Interesting. The sound of this bell has a lot of character. Can I go in here? No, okay, that's fine. keeps producing fruit, even when there's no one left to eat it. And your name is... Toupette. I wonder who named you that. I love that name. It's a beautiful name. Good girl. Ice cream. I've never drank cow's milk, let alone some kind of frozen version. Oh, how'd you get all the way up here? You are a cow and you were named Krasnahorkai. Krasnahorkai, Krasnahorkai. Come with me, Krasna Hortai. Who names their cow that? Krasna Hortai? That's ridiculous. Sorry, it's not. There's probably someone out there with the name Krasna Hortai. I'm just making them feel bad now. Tractor. This machine looks powerful. It must have done the work of many people. Oh, bicycle. Come here. I... I recognize you. Yeah. 
You're the famous doctor. That's your boy. The one with the visions. I'm right, aren't I? I won't tell nobody. We're just passing through. I have a niece. She... She hears things. Voices of the dead. I can't help you. Please, uh, give it some thought. I can't treat anyone here in this valley. This is not a place to get well. Where is? I'm working on that. Take care. It's surreal to find a piece of Dr. Fumio's past so far away from Cairo. the cow farm which was like right okay so now Ooh, riding up these steps would be hard eh? and These atmospheric ruins has been des ah, designated a symbol of the unfathomable nature of the past. What is this? A bridge? Some kind of aqueduct? Who built it? Why did it fall apart? We don't know, but we'll live beside this bulking structure for the rest of our lives. Hulking structure. From the year 100 at least, maybe older. They don't even know. Such a huge structure. I wish we had more information about the olden days. Okay, so this shrine won't open up unless it's nighttime, apparently. Oh, you can just click retrieve bicycle and it'll come to you. Save the game. Is that a thing? Is this the type of game where you save the game? Not me having to Google how to save the game. If I click exit to main menu. Oh, save and exit. Okay. Okay, period. Okay. I'm gonna stop my stream there. I'm so hungry and I still need to take my hormone pills. So I'm gonna eat. Take my home. I'm gonna put on a- I've been binging Game of Thrones, actually. Because they took Harry Potter off HBO Max. And now I- I, I was on the fifth Harry Potter movie. I'd never seen Harry Potter before. On the fifth Harry Potter movie, they took Harry Potter off of, uh, HBO Max. So now I'm watching Game of Thrones. Because I have nothing else to watch. And Pedro Pascal is in Game of Thrones. And there's only three episodes out for The Last of Us so far, so. Anyways, uh, I love this game so far. So far I give it like a 10 out of 10, honestly. Like, I love peaceful games like this. Like, this game is just right up my alley. I don't, I can't think of any reason why I wouldn't enjoy it. Um, hope the audio, audio, audio quality wasn't too bad. Um, there might have been a bit of an echo, but I think that the audio is still, like, decent. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. How do I end this? Oh, here we go. Period.